Hello fellow freelancers, I'm Robert Gephardt. I am a freelance translator specializing in Italian to English translations and today I would like to talk to you about some computer programs, some computer programs that I find very useful in doing my business and in day-to-day -day running of whatever I'm doing. I think this will be useful for all you freelance translators out there, <clears throat> excuse me, but also freelancers of any other type, uh, from freelance writers to designers to pretty much anyone who does not have a boss or work in an office. Basically, if you have to be your own boss and you're in charge of your own time management and your own workflow and getting things done, then you should find these quite useful. So anyway, let's get started. The first program I want to talk to you about is uh, called Boomerang. Now, this is a program that I find quite useful and I use all the time. It's attached to your email. Now, for me, I should say this is all personal. I use Gmail, I use a Mac, and so I haven't checked this with all the other programs and clients out there. So, uh, although I'm sure an equivalent exists if this doesn't work with your program, I think most of the stuff I described should work for whatever you're using. Anyway, Boomerang works for Gmail. I use it with Gmail, and since I have Gmail integrated with all my work email, it works perfectly for me. So what you can do with Boomerang is that you can send an email and you can play around with the sending of the email. One thing you can do is you can plan to send it at a later date. So for example, say you finish the translation, but the due date isn't until tomorrow or the day after. You can already write the email attach the translations and send it to the client, but only, you know, have it for a day or two later. And this allows you maybe some peace of mind in case you think of something else in the meantime that you would like to add to the translation or something along those lines. But if in the meantime you get busy with something else and forget to send the translation, let's say, um, it'll get sent automatically. So anyway, I find it useful once you start using it for things like this, but mostly uh, what I use it for is um, is the option that it gives you when you do send an email to have it resent, and you can choose to have it resent if the client does not respond, does not open, or does not click on your email, or just have it resent regardless within whatever time period you want, in a day, in two days, in three days, in a week. So this means that you can send an email. If the client does not respond within two or three days, say, it'll send the same email again and it can keep doing so until the client responds. I personally use this for collecting money. Very often clients have a very, very strict deadline when a, there's a translation to do, but then when it comes time to pay you, they're suddenly extremely relaxed and it's very hard to get back in touch with them. So what this allows me to do is send out an email reminding them, and if they don't respond, it'll send that same email three days later, two days later or whatever, and then it'll keep doing that and you know, kind of bothering them, nudging them until finally they do send, they do send a response. And I've used this with clients. I've also done it, you know, where you CC other people in their office just so it gets them moving. Anyway, so I find it useful. You can just do it once and forget about it. And it helps with the tedious, you know, trying to chase your client and all that stuff. So Boomerang, I use Boomerang for Gmail. But if you use Boomerang, I'll put a link to it uh, down, down under here. But uh, I'm sure it can either work for your client or there's an equivalent for your email client because uh, it is very useful in just simplifying your life day to day. That was program number one. Program number two that I would like to talk to you about is called self-control. Now, self-control actually might only be for Macs. Um, however, again, I'm sure an equivalent exists because it's a very simple concept. What it does it is it blocks certain programs either programs on your computer or websites, etc. So for me, I waste a lot of time on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, on stuff like that. So I have self-control set up. So first thing in the morning, I can open self-control and I can click on, say, two and a half hours. And so for two and a half hours, even if it comes automatically to write Facebook.com or even if I want to check YouTube or stuff like that, I can't access the website. And so for those two and a half hours or three or four hours or whatever it is, I know that I have to be in working mode and I can't do anything on those websites. Now you can choose which websites or programs to, uh, to block, uh, which is great. So basically try to figure out what you waste most of your time on and then try to block those so you can actually get some work done. I find this very useful just because you know, we don't have a boss. We could, I could spend all day watching YouTube, but then I won't make money. 
And rather than trying to force myself to stay off YouTube, which quite frankly, I think does sap energy out of me, I just force it upon myself. And I kind of decide, well, I don't have the motivation. Why don't I just force it upon myself and make it very, as hard as possible to procrastinate and as easy as possible to get business done. And self-control just really helps with that. Again, just to simplify my life so I don't have to think about it. Right now I have it on. I couldn't access Facebook if I wanted to or YouTube or Twitter. And so I'm actually trying to get work done. And, uh, and it helps a lot. Now, you may also have an issue of not knowing exactly how much time you spend on what programs. Maybe you think you work quite a bit and you don't spend too much time on Facebook, but maybe you do spend quite a bit of time on Facebook or YouTube or one of those. And to help you with that is the third program I'd like to talk to you about called Rescue Time. Rescue Time is great. It, uh, it just operates in the background and, um, and you can do whatever you want to do. And I mean, go ahead with your weekly work flow and once a week it'll send you an update of what you've been up to and so the update looks like a chart and basically what it'll show will show that you spent this week you spent eight hours on Microsoft Word and uh, six hours on Facebook and uh, four hours on this and that and the other and what it does it is it looks at the programs you use and the websites, which I find useful because there's some programs that just say you've been on the internet, which doesn't help me at all. But if it says, okay, you've been on Microsoft Word and you've been on PowerPoint and you've been on Facebook and YouTube uh, and on pros.com, et cetera, et cetera, you can, you can see exactly what you've been spending your time on, how much of it on which programs on which websites. And that helps a lot. Like for me, when I first use it is when I first noticed how much time I wasted on sites like Twitter and YouTube and Facebook, et cetera. And so, I use that for self-control because then I said, okay, let's just block those so I can actually get work done. And, it, and so it, it just really does help. And it's, and it's interesting to see week after week how my productivity ebbs and flows, let's say. And, uh, and you can rate the different programs by most productive to least productive, and it gives you a productivity score every week, which is useful as well. But mostly I just really like it for showing which programs I – how much time I spend on each program, let's say. And so that's called Rescue Time. Again, I'll have links to all of these here under. But uh, for now, that's pretty much it. Boomerang, Self-Control, and Rescue Time. I find these extremely useful for anyone out there who's working on their own and who's uh, trying to get work done on their own. Uh, just a couple other things. If you're not already, you should probably follow lifehacker.org. Um, it is a, uh, I mean, you can follow them on Twitter, Facebook, or, you know, any one of those, those sites, uh, or Mashable as well, maybe. They, they just always have tips and things that very often are useful, um, also for us freelancers and, uh, for getting things done and stuff like that. In fact, I'm sure I heard about these, you know, at least most of the programs I use on, on sites like that. I should also mention that I'm not affiliated with any of these programs that I mentioned here. I do not get paid. I have no interest in them. I don't know anyone who works there or anything like that. I just use them and I find them useful. And so I want to share that information. I should also specify that I don't pay for any of them. They're free. Now they do have paid versions. I'm pretty sure they have paid version of Rescue Time and I think of Boomerang as well. But I don't use the paid versions. And um, if you want to, if you find them useful, I know Rescue Time can give you a whole lot more detail if you pay for it. Boomerang, I think, gives you many more options and the options to send many more different types of emails uh, if you want. For me, this the way they work this way is perfect because I can use them for what I need. So, But you can check them out yourself. I just recommend checking them out and seeing if they work for you and giving them a week because I really do think they'll simplify your life a lot so you can just concentrate on your work and not the other stuff. Anyway, that's it for now. Hopefully you found this useful. And, um, and I'll sign off. Bye.